Hello, God bless everyone. So uh, this video is uh, that uh, I'm going to make is, is, is kind of uh, in some way it is uh, sensitive. It's more like uh, it is sort of uh, uh, you need some privacy, but then again at the same time uh, it could be benefit uh, to others, to the uh, parents, uh, children and to the families. So I have to make this in the English version because some of the viewers maybe could be foreigners. So I have to combine it with some English and Tagalog. But anyways, um, this video is about uh, the, the real life or the true story of, uh, of a teenager at, uh, at the age of 15. 16 uh, experience uh, deep depressions and uh, she got to the point where she tried to, uh, to commit suicide three times it is a very intense story I may not uh, able to uh, complete it in, in the first episode or uh, in part one so I have to say uh, how it goes but the, the purpose of this video is to uh, to help others that we may be able to prevent uh, this uh, depressions of uh, the young ones. And uh, I also want to make it an English version. So if my daughter ever see this video, then she will, in, she will understand what is the purpose, why I'm sharing this, uh, you know, private life, you know, it should be confident. Confident, but confi I mean, should keep it, you know, in your family only. But I'm looking at the other way, where it may be benefit for others. Prevention. You know, everyone like you have a children, or you could be a child that you may experience depression in your life. So this video might help you to prevent, and especially for the parents that you can. Be more aware. Uh, keep an eye on your uh, children. So this video will will help you. And I know uh, many families experience this. There's um, so many young that they uh, you know they commit suicide in a very young age. But you know it's so sad. Let's face it. Even uh, from the age of. 10 years old up to maybe even 21, 22, 25. Uh, first of all, we, we have to, uh, yes, we have to pray that God will protect our family. But then at the same time, uh, the God will give us the guidelines or some kind of uh, awareness of the situation. So I'm going to, uh, I think this first video will be more like uh, uh, introduction, but I don't know how many <laughs> series that uh, I have, uh, like videos I have to make. I want to uh, I'm gonna come up with the best I can, how I can describe the story as, as far as I can remember. But uh, it begins uh, when uh, she was uh, maybe seven or eight years old. You, you may notice that. The, the, the kids will be a little different. So, uh, if they're so uh, private, you know, they, they always want too much uh, privacy in their life. And that is the sign where this person is uh, prone for depressions. Uh, the person wants to be alone many times, most of the time. Or sometimes if this person is, uh, they're so smart, that uh, just like, you know, they're gifted. The brain is so sharp and uh, they're so smart. I mean, not not all of them are on the same case, but that's one of them. You know, they uh, and uh, you might notice that they they can uh, disappoint so easy in their life. You know, uh, little things they'll be disappointed and they will be upset. Uh, that will be one of the sign. And uh, sometimes it's like it's really hard to deal with. You know, you, you cannot really understand what 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 the person really want, what the kids really want. It is a 
it's one of those uh, situations where sometimes you know we, we get upset and we try to to blame or try we try to discipline you know that, that's where you're working in a fine line that uh, you, you have to discipline your children then at the same time you, you have to uh, listen to them and sometimes we, we tend to more be more author authoritative uh, just to show them that we are the parents we have to uh, they have to listen to us you know uh, which is not supposed to be the right way but uh, you also have to spend some time to listen and uh, to understand where they're coming from first of all uh, my advice is uh, take your time to um, understand your children and give time to your children that's number one uh, that's one uh, that's one of uh, the part uh, in our family or at least in my case I have no time to spend I mean, not enough time to spend with my children uh, during that time in their young age because I'm I yeah, work uh, so hard and I, sometimes I work day and night. Uh, I never really have much time in my family. So that's the first thing that you have to keep on eye. Is, uh, do you have enough time for your family? Give, give time to your family. And um, those are the things that I just recall. See what happened is this is what happened. Uh, all of this just being recalled to me when the things had already happened. You know, uh, I, I, we are not even aware that uh, my uh, my child, my little girl, is suffering from depression. Uh, all what I think is uh, is different. Uh, you know, sometimes we say the, the, the kid is hard-headed. You know, uh, if you notice that the person is feels like so, or sounds like a hard-headed. You know, they 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 don't want to listen. Pay attention. Something's not right, and uh, you have to uh, uh, reach them out. You know, uh, they, they are in a, sometimes they are in the age of sixteen, maybe their mind is in the age of nine or eight or ten. So they have to really understand where they are, what are they playing, what 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 are their interests. You have to go get to the level, then you un you will understand why. Uh, they have such a mode or actions that the very unusual. So those are the few things that uh, we have to. Uh, I want to advise uh, every parents that uh, I mean, watch watch for those uh, signs. Uh, also, allow them to have uh, friends because uh, they they speak to their friends, to the friends. They they don't usually open up the parents because they. They assume that they will not, will not understand them. They, they just always assume that way. That yeah, they will be upset. So they will be more open uh -huh. conversation with, with others, with the friends. So allow them. And, and if they are not too friendly or if they don't like uh, friends, if they only choose certain friends, that is uh, again. That is uh, not always the case, but that is one of the uh, uh, indication that uh, you know the, uh, the person is a loner, and which is really bad. They're really hard. If you notice that they're they're only picking a certain friends, which is you know it's in, a, in a way that's good because you know they uh, they have to choose the right friend, right? But what I mean is. Uh, you have to be friendly almost to everybody, and then uh, then you can choose which one, which friends you wanna stay more most of your time. But you know, it, it is a it is a sensitive situation where you have to really keep one eye, and you you will notice it. Something is unusual. Uh, just be vigilant. Uh, spend your time. Uh, just uh, put yourself as in the person's age or uh, in the child's age. Whatever they're playing, you play with them. Are they playing dolls? Are they playing uh, cars, toy cars? So you play with them, then you can start talking to them as, as you are in their age. And make yourself as just as young as them. So that way they, they, there's a chance that they might uh, open up or they will talk or say something about what they feel. Uh, you have to allow them to express the, the, their feelings. 
and uh, it is a uh, even though you, you you may not get the information as much as you need but at least that way you will have a better kind of a better feeling or understanding uh, the situation of your child uh, then there is uh, so many indications any anything unusual just you know you don't have to really worry that much but uh, what I'm saying is uh, uh, be sensitive uh, for the situation of your uh, children or your child before it's too late and uh, again uh, in my testimony I, uh, I'm sure that the reason uh, she survived is I, I know I know God protects us that's for sure uh, but then again this testimony will help others too and, uh, even for the uh, uh, children that uh, will uh, see this video uh, my advice is uh, you know share your uh, whatever you feel to your parents treat your parents as your parents and as your uh, maybe brothers or sister like even you your like parents at uh, some point uh, treat your uh, child as a friend at their level then they will share their personal interest their situation you have to be flexible uh, Yes, we have to discipline the child, our children, but it's be open to them. And yes, there is a certain uh, time where you have to be uh, firm with your children, but, you know, things that you will not allow them to do. It's just like, you know, when you're uh, handling your family or uh, being a leader or being a parent, it's just like uh, when you're in your, you know, trying to hold the sand and you want to keep as much as you can, right? But, you know, if you squeeze them so much, I mean, they will be choked, right, your children, meaning there will be more sand going to fall. If, if you keep it your wide hands so wide open, you know, if, you, if there's no discipline, still the same thing, you can barely keep sand in your, in your palm. So you can kind of keep it halfway, halfway, where you're a little bit, there's room for, uh, uh, a little bit of uh, flexibility where again you know kind of uh, let them feel comfortable that they will open up uh, if they make some mistake then they will they're, they're still able to or comfortably open up or share what they did because if you're so strict they, they will they will try to hide everything then again if you're so wide open then they will just do everything too then they could lead them in, a, in the wrong way so yeah, uh, disciplining a child is not easy, but uh, those are the, some indications that I can share in this first video. And uh, yeah, at, as young as uh, 10 years old, 11 and up, you, you will notice there's a difference. Sometimes you have a uh, few kids, uh, some children, and you can tell one of them could be a little different. So pay attention uh, to those like a little different. Uh, because it's, uh, I mean, it's, it, it, you know, it's hard for me really to explain what what happened in uh, in our life. But one thing for sure is, I, we know that God uh, protected us, and God is always protecting us all the time. That's, uh, and I have no hesitation to share uh, this testimony. I know it is a more kind of a, supposed to be like a kind of a private life, but you know, I, I can't really sleep at night if I hear that you know if some f family have similar situation I mean they could have tell them or they should have known that okay well this is my child is prone for this depression so and it, is, it may help someone so I you know if my daughter ever sees this uh, video and she's kind of uh, I mean she's not really Tapping me to do this, and I never ask permission, but uh, you know she will understand that our focus is to help others to avoid this kind of situation. I mean, in fact, uh, maybe when I talk to her, she'll probably uh, willing to share her testimony. You know, she can share uh, her experience, what happened, and then how she overcame it. You know, everything is in God's control. It's one thing for sure. But it is uh, this video, this information will help others to be more aware, be careful, and 
family is really is very important. But there's so many things, so many stories happen there that they, uh, the, you know, the young ones they committed suicide for no reason. I mean, there is a reason, but yeah, we are not aware of it. So this uh, short video is just an opening, part one, and I want ev I want everyone to uh, comment down below or message me. Uh, uh, some question. Uh, if you have a question, uh, like uh, how did how did we overcome this uh, situation? And uh, but I will be making some video uh, after this. I'm not I'm not sure how much I'm going to cover, but at least in this very first video, I want everyone to. Uh, you probably have the same experience, but you can maybe share you already. But some of them probably don't have it yet. So you keep an eye on your child, your children as they grow. And um, yeah, it is a uh, it is hard. But, you, know, you don't want to wait too late. And uh, for those, uh, I'm going to make another version of uh, uh, some uh, Tagalog language, so that way it'll be uh, you know easier at some point. But this is I made this opening, so uh, this is for the sake of those who are uh, you know they don't speak Tagalog, and also if my daughter ever see this uh, video. Uh, my, my girl, you know, she's, she's 25 years old now, and uh, she's, man, uh, it's amazing what God did to our life, you know. And that's what I want to share, is the love of God. They will not leave us. God will not leave us. They will not forsake us. God will not leave us. So for now, I want to uh, stop this in, uh, introduction uh, video again. Uh, follow this uh, series of a story about uh, depressions that uh, led my uh, daughter to uh, actually he did he did uh, attempted three times uh, to commit suicide in the same year same year three times and i thank god that uh, god didn't allow these things to happen that's why i'm here is a uh, uh, and this is my thanksgiving and the uh, praise, high praise to our God in the name of Jesus. And uh, also this, uh, our, our global online uh, Bible study and uh, prayer. This is uh, the result of, uh, or the part of my thanksgiving to, to God. But I hope that these things may uh, give some uh, uh, impact to other people uh, that they will uh, embrace uh, God's love and grace and mercy. Give time to God and uh, give time to family. So for now, uh, we will stop here temporarily and uh, continue and follow the series of this video. Message me if you have some requests and uh, I will respond. God bless everyone.